Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to the channel. Today I have an unboxing of a new camping mattress that I purchased with my own money. So I'm gonna give you my 100% honest opinion on what I think of it. We're gonna unbox it right now, so let's check it out. All right, so here it is. It is the Lost Horizon air mattress. So it's part air mattress and part memory foam. So it kind of is like a hybrid of the best of both worlds. It's a air mattress, so it f uh, compresses uh, smaller into a small package. And it also has memory foam, so it has uh, the comfort of memory foam as well. So let's unbox it and check it out. All right, so I got the package that came with the air pump. So this is the air pump and it's supposed to be able to pump air in and as well as extract air out. And it comes in this nice little felt pouch. And I guess this is an adapter somehow. I'm not sure where that works, but we'll figure it out in, well, probably, probably over here. So I guess one end is to pump air and one end is to suck air. So we're gonna check that out. We're gonna set this up in the back of the Model Y. And after that, we're going to kind of try to compress it back down and see if we could get it back into this carrying bag and see if it could fit in the trunk and in the front. And we're gonna go to the front and pump it up. So after it's been rolled and shipped, it's pretty compressed and we'll see how long it takes to actually pump this thing up. So here's the pump and this side is the suction, this side is the pump. There's a button that you press two times and it'll start it on. So you press twice, one, two, and then we go. We're gonna press it one time and it goes off. And then here there's a light switch. So you press it two times and there's a pretty bright light. Press it one time to go off. And here is USB. Uh, I guess there's a USB A and a USB C. Um, expecting one to charge and one is like a power bank. So you could use it as a power bank if you need to charge your cell phone as well. So we're gonna put this to the front. There's a little nozzle and we're gonna pump it up. So we're at the front of the mattress right now. And so there's a nozzle right here. We're gonna unscrew it. And then there's a little thing that says def uh, deflate, deflate. So I guess this is, if you wanted to deflate it, you'll be at in this position. I think you could push this down and once you push it down, you can hear it, air going inside already. So you can hear that there's air being sucked in already just automatically. But we're gonna speed that up, connect this pump to it. So it just fits right in there. And then we'll push it, push the button. And we'll see how long that takes. See how long this takes to inflate. All right, that took about one, maybe two minutes. I'll put the exact number on the screen. And there it is, completely inflated. It fits perfectly, taking up all the space up front. So up front, it's about a, uh, a queen size from left to right. And then down here by the feet, it's more of a full size from left to right. So we're gonna put some sheets on this and uh, we'll see how the sheets fit. But this is about a four, I believe it's four or four and a half inch uh, thick mattress. And I could tell you right now, it feels really, really smooth, really, really comfortable. So I'm gonna, get some sheets and get in there and see how it feels. All right, so the sheets fit good. 
this these are this is a full size sheet, and uh, it fits good up up at up, up the top and on the bottom. It's a little extra. It just tuck it underneath, but it fits just fine. Let's get in there and see how this mattress feels. All right, we're gonna climb in here. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Turn my head around. Oh yeah. This feels really good. I say it feels just as good as a normal mattress. Yeah, very spacious. I'm on the left side and there's still plenty of room on the right side there. You'll fit two adults perfectly fine. Yeah, this feels really nice. We have the glass ceiling, so when you're camping, uh, you know, right now it's not a nice view. We've got my garage there. But at night you can see the stars if you're camping out at night. But yeah, this is super comfortable. Give you an idea of how big it is. So this is a standard size pillow. I mean, get back out here. So you could totally fit two standard size pillows. So two full-size adults could definitely sleep in here. Or maybe one adult and two kids could sleep in here for sure. Put in in cap mode and do some glamping. Very, very nice. All right, guys, so now we're going to take out the air and see how much we could get this down into that bag and put it into the trunk or the frunk. Let's check it out. So we're going to use the pump and use this end of it to suction out the air and that will make this process a lot faster. All right, so I sucked out, I think, as much air as I can. I'm gonna close that and then try to roll this the rest of the way. This is my first time doing this, so I might not have it exactly the way I should. It looks a little big, and I wonder if I could compress it some more. Let me see if I could, see if I could suck out a little bit more air. This is the bag it came in. So this bag, you can fill it with air, kind of just naturally, and then you roll it. I'm not doing a good example right now, but then you buckle it. And at the bottom here, there's a valve that you connect onto the bed and you can push the air that's in this bag into that valve. So that would be doing it manually, but of course the pump comes in handy uh, much faster, of course. So let's get this back into the bag and see if it fits into the trunk or the sub trunk. All right, here's my sub trunk and it looks like it should fit. Fits right there. Yep, it fit, fits, even though I didn't probably suction it down as much as it could go. The pump can just go right here in the corner. And boom. Totally fits in the sub trunk. Now let's see the frunk. All right, here's the frunk. And it does fit in the frunk. 
it's a little tight, but it totally does fit in the frunk. Let's close down the frunk. There it goes. Fits in the frunk. Well, all right, guys, there it is. There's my review of the Lost Horizon uh, air mattress for the Model Y. I think it's really, really good. Really good quality. Uh, very, very comfortable. And it packs down, fits in the frunk, and fits in the trunk, in the sub trunk. And uh, yeah, it has the best of both worlds, air, uh, air mattress, and also has memory foam in there. So it really feels really comfortable. So guys, if you are looking to buy the mattress, I pay for it 100% myself with my own money. This is my 100% honest review. There's no reason for me to say anything good about this product. I didn't get this product for free or anything like that. So uh, my honest opinion, if you guys like to purchase it, you can use my link in the description below. It really helps out the channel, gives me some, uh, some credits and if you're looking to buy a Tesla, consider using my link in the description below. It really helps out the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.